There are very unusual things happening in the sky. People are seeing them all around the world. Some may have called it a cometary collapse. Here, I have a review of all of this. Let's begin. And we'll try to understand everything. There is a new comet in the night sky. It is called Comet Atlas. Uh, it has reached naked eye visibility, but only yet can be seen from very dark locations. At the moment, it is in the Orso Major constellation. But up to the June, it will move toward the constellation Orion. Potentially, it can brighten up up to magnitude minus 5 and can be as bright as the planet Venus when it is near the Sun. Ancients believed comets bring disease and disaster. They were messengers of death and doom. I wonder, with the coronavirus raging, how they would have thought. The whole planet is raging with the coronavirus. So far, 21,000 people have died across the planet. This is the light curve of the comet Atlas. It is not a sun grazer, but will get very close to the sun. It has the potential to get as bright as magnitude minus 10. This is the latest images of this comet. Whenever comets appeared, disease was also appearing. For the ancients, this was a cause and effect phenomenon. It was the duty of astronomer royals to predict their apparition. And they did it everywhere. They filled our heart with fear and praise. People knew they are the heralds of the doom. Who knows, maybe there is some truth in that. They can contain organic material. And they may have even started life on our planet. And as with dinosaurs, they can also end it up. This is called mass extinction. When it becomes too big, it will die out eventually. And a new life begins. As you know, the comet atlas has broken apart and all the fragments are moving to closest to Earth in 23rd of May. 
As if it was not enough, we have another comet coming toward us. This is a comet which was behind the sun as now has emerged from the other side. It will be closest to us on the May 13. And by then this will be 58 million kilometers from us. That will be closer than any celestial object other than the moon. Comet Sun may become visible to the naked eye. It will be probably around magnitude 4. It will be the same brightness of the comet Halley in 1984. Seeing it is easy, you have to look toward the west where the sun sets. It will pass through the Pisces, Aries, Taurus and Orion constellations. It will be seen above planet Venus in the relatively bright sky. It will be low in the sky, so you need a relatively open horizon. But if we are lucky, we can see the comet Atlas and comet Swan together. There are a lot of things going on in this May. So brace yourself as we will be keeping you up to date. Last night in Cambridgeshire, UK, people noticed something strange. A glowing red trail was visible over the western horizon. Could it be a meteorite has landed? Was it the asteroid FX3 landing on planet Earth? Surprisingly, there was no report about seeing a fireball. But Lyrid meteor shower should have been around by the morning so there was a time difference that is important and the direction of the lyrid meteorite shower is completely different we have not received any report about landing of a meteorite yet some have suggested that this was a airplane contrail and some even have suggested these are part of the atlas and swan comets if we know the meteorites are sourced from the asteroids and the source of meteors are the debris left by the comets on their trail. And we have not yet passed the trail of any of these comets. To find the answer for this mystery, we need more observations. Since finding an answer can save our planet. Asteroid impacts have created our own moon, so they are not really rare. And over time, they have wiped out many different species. So, we need more reports. If you have photographs or have been eyewitnessing something, report it, please. So, keep looking to the sky. You may be the one who finds the answer to this mystery. It can be a lifesaver during the coronavirus outbreak.
can see there in the center is the Copernicus crater. To the right of it is the Kepler crater. And the dot, tiny dot, to the right of that Kepler, near the edge of the white area, where the down to it, a little bit lower, is a black dot, that's Grimaldi. That tiny white dot is the a magnetic anomaly called uh, Rainer Gamma, or Rainer Gamma. As you can see, the thin layer of cloud is exists in the sky. It's moving. It's mist, practically. And, uh, yeah, the Italy-shaped uh, area to the top uh, is the Jura Mountains and uh, and you can see a tiny dot also in the Jura Mountains called Plateau actually Crater Plateau the Philosopher The bright dot to the two o'clock in this image. If you imagine the top part is twelve and lower part is six, at two o'clock of the image, in the middle of the in in somewhere in the black patch, the white dot is Aristarchus and the area around it is Aristarchus Plateau, the volcanic area. Yes, the clouds are making it really dark. Don't want to test what it actually should be. Yeah, and the circular feature, black circular feature at the top at 12 o'clock is, uh, is the big black circle. Uh, is the Mare uh, um, Imbrium Sea of the Rains and uh, to the lower part of it at 7 o'clock of that circle what you can see is the mountains of the Apennine Ope yeah, Apennine yeah. 